Alrighty guys, Big Grandpa here. Just want to give you a little update on what I've been doing. As you know, I do a lot of mapping, um, do a bit of uh, modeling and stuff. And to build my Aussie map, I wanted trees. And I got to say, out of all the things I've done, I've done animals, I've done vehicles, I've done houses, I've done mapping. Trees were one of the most finicky to get right. So... These are uh, Australian uh, eucalyptus, also known as gum trees in Australia. Um, it's over 700 species throughout the world, and Australia has pretty well most of those. And they range from anywhere up to 65, 70 metres in the tallest. And then there's smaller ones as well. This is my big variety that I've produced. Um, so this, there you go, a little bit of good chew of advertisement out to fuzzy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the eucalyptus tree um, also produces an oil, which is uh, often used for different remedies and um, things. And also only one or two species of trees is what the uh, koalas will actually eat the leaves from. So the more we cut down trees, the less habitats. <clears throat> so I'm going to break that rule right now. <laughs> and I'm going to demonstrate before we do, I just want to show you all trees are made up of uh, lods, uh, level of detail, level of distance, whichever one you want to use. Um, I like to say level of distance because the further distance, the model changes in its uh, amount of faces and vertices <coughs> so that it's resourceful on the engine. So we're looking right in the distance there. That one right there, probably hard to even tell, but that's actually like a cardboard flat one. When I zoom in, it changes. And that technique no one showed me. I had to work out a way of doing those particular things. If you look occasionally at bushes, you'll see out there they get cardboardy but you notice I got a fairly even look that they really don't look cardboardy so it's pretty cool anyway enough of bragging this is my largest one uh, of all the trees the first one I wanted to produce and uh, it works and uh, I'm gonna break my rule and I'm gonna cut down a gum tree please don't try this at home and I'm a lumberjack and a monkey I work all night and I sleep all day on weekends I go shopping and have buttered scones for tea. There we go. And that's one fallen gum tree, guys. And uh, I can specify how much is going to be in each tree as well, which that'll be upcoming. So I thought I'd share those with you guys. Yell out to Sipe and um, some of the boys over Daisy Modders who also sort of pointed me in the direction. Had a problem with cutting them down. I worked out what it was. And uh, I've got more of these coming. This is the biggest one and smaller ones to come. So I hope you enjoyed. And uh, of course, don't forget, guys, most of all, have a nice day, Z. Bye for now.